is the annual tourism shopping showdown. Um, and each year, the state of Texas estimates about 7.9 billion, that's billion with a B, billion dollars generated from local, state, and federal taxes because of tourism to the state of Texas. Um, and what that means for the state of Texas, Texas households save about $840 each year per household because of um, the, the tourism to the state. Uh, how are you feeling? Tired. <laughs> All for a good cause, though. Monica was a great, uh, great helper. Thank she you. She outran me today, but uh, <laughs> so. Which one do you, do you think has the better shopping experience prepared for an event like that? Definitely Monica, yeah. We had a strategy that we sort of followed. We started at the far end on two and worked our way up. We were supposed to get to 12. We didn't get there. We got to about seven. And then we went over to the baby aisle to get some diapers and formula. You nervous at all? No, because uh, no matter which city comes out on head, the most important thing is the food bank's the big one. Eight hundred dollars in fifteen minutes—is that a record for you? I, I uh, would say so. Maybe not for Monica. You know, uh, she she may spend more, but, uh, <laughs> but this was good. It's all for a good cause. All for the food bank, and we appreciate HEB uh, sponsoring us. And uh, again, this gives us an opportunity to talk about tourism and in Bryan Station and Aggieland. And uh, you know, since we're going into the summer months and the vacation months, this is very important. So today, it's my understanding that we got uh, $1,600 combining the two um, shopping cart values of the both cities, cities of College Station and Bryan. And since the food bank can take one dollar and turn that into three meals, that's going to be 4,800 meals based on a 15-minute competition today. So that's pretty impressive. Here, uh, the summer is a is a rougher time in general for food banks, and especially since this food bank is in a college town, a lot of our volunteers go different places in the summertime, and people go on vacation. So volunteerism is important in the summer, but monetary and food donations are really, really important. So events like this bring great awareness to what we're doing. I am pleased to announce this year it was extremely close. She got within less than $5 of $800, $795.31, Mayor Barry from the City of College Station has declared the winner. The real winner of this is the food bank. Well, it's just a, a great experience. So thanks to HEB, thanks to the CBB, and uh, thanks to uh, Mayor Bianski and Monica Palisoda. Uh, we've all uh, had a good time with Tara and Julie. Um, it's been wonderful. I'd like to donate my $20. Thank you. Oh. <laughs>